Okay, so we're going to take a, just a couple steps back and kind of talk about what we had to do in order to get here. We needed to remove this piece from the T deck, and then we are replacing it with this piece right on top here, which, and which effectively is the top part of this. And then we have this liner that goes behind the keyboard. And the way I affixed that, I used some of this, uh, this tape. And this is double-sided, a very thin, clear, sticky tape. When you have both sides peeled off of it, you just have a thin, stretchy piece of rubber tape, sticky on both sides. And it's usually better if you stick it first, and then you can kind of peel the, the back and off the other side. And so I, I affixed our keyboard to this 3D printed piece on the back. And I did the same with the tape, the double-sided tape, on this with the trackball. And you can you can hear the click of the trackball. It has a great, a better feel now on it. And what if you look on the back here, there is a hole, through hole right here, and there's a pin on this um, black printed part that goes in so it sets and it aligns this with the screen, with the connections for the trackball. And um, yeah, there was some double-sided tape um, all over this, I, I cleaned that off with uh, using just a little bit of 91 isopropyl alcohol. I uh, sprayed that on and gently kind of, um, you know, got the, the gumminess off of that. And so at this point, what we should be able to do is look at our casing. And so these files are included in the T-Deck uh, repo. This is the other case I have where I still have the battery, the speaker, and our antenna over here. Now that we have this, we're going to want to put some more tape down on this side of this 3D printed um, separator. And then that feeds through here. And then this kind of locks into place. You can you kind of feel it on the sides where it feels like it's right there. Now, if you, if you look on the keyboard, we have these three uh, metallic lines that go all the way side to side on the keyboard. Now, the, those three... If we now examine, let's see here, the other side of the casing where that's going to fit in, we can see that there's three slots here that that's going to kind of kind of fit in to align the keyboard and, um, you know, keep everything straight. So is this going to work? I don't know. I hope so. And at, at this point, we can power this if we want. Um, our, our keyboard plugs in right here. And then we, you know, we have our, our power switch. We can power this over um, USB-C if we don't want to put the battery in yet. But at this point, I think what I want to do, I want to go ahead. We, we know that this keyboard is going to fit exactly right there. So let's, let's go ahead and get that taped down. And then we, will, we should have everything on the top of the T-Deck in place, aligned, and should be ready to be fitted. So this is the tape I was talking about. And the best way I think to do this is being careful with everything here. Nothing on this, and there's no contacts. Now we do have this pinout over here, this breakout, which we can retain that, but we can hit that from the bottom side as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw some tape over this. And what I can do since it's double-sided, I'm just going to tape this down and I can go around the edge you know, once I, you know, Push this down and premise. And as important, it goes all the way to the edge. It's doubtful. We just don't want the keyboard walking around. We don't want it or falling out on us. You're right. So we now want to make a cutout so our keyboard cable can pass through. You can see the tape, see the clear rubbery tape we're cutting out here. And like I said, this doesn't have to be precise. And you can just kind of pull it and tear this plastic as well. Okay. So, not bad. All right. Now, let's see how this lines up. You can see right here in the slot, this is where my keyboard, on the sides here, this is where my keyboard is punching through. And that lets us know that it's kind of in the right place. Okay, there we can see right there where the keyboard slots go. And so, let's just cut the edges off there. Get that out of the way. And that will allow those, those um, tabs to go all the way down to the board level. Works. Okay, cool. Okay, so, let's do it. Okay, and we still have a hole here to deal with. All right, looks good. Make sure that those are punched. That's what we want. Looks like our cable is lined up. There we go. Okay, hey, that feels good. Our tabs, yeah. So we can see right here, tab is coming through our slot. You know, just a little bit of the tape that it pulled through with it. 
Okay. Oh, that familiar Blackberry feel. You can hear our clicky. Okay. So hopefully this is going to serve us a little better. So at this point with how, and now we, we don't have our antenna on and I don't really want to mess with this jack too much when we don't have to. Those are only rated for about 40, 45 connections and they're just notoriously finicky. So, you know, you kind of get them on once and if you can, just leave them alone. So where does that leave us? Now, okay, I was looking at switches and I've got, I really do like these switches. These are nice. Um, it's a little large, but I believe we may have enough room to throw that up in the top. We'll see. Now, what is tricky, you can see here, this is the top fitting. See how it lines up with this, uh, with the cutout of the keyboard and the, you know, the plate that we've printed underneath it. And so if I push this down, those three ribs on the side of the keyboard should line up into this frame. You can see that. It looks like it is lining up right there, right where we want it. Perfect. Okay, cool. And so what we can do at this point, we already have an on-off switch over on the side. We have to get our battery in here. You'll notice that I, I shaved some of these bones off on the inside, basically so we can fit the battery, right? Now, the battery, our speaker, we do, we should have enough room here. And you'll notice that on the grill port here, there's no top, so this should just be able to fit directly on. And then we have these little uh, 2.5M bolts that will um, hit one per corner and bring us together here. Quick test fitting here. USB looks good there. So, I mean, we we do not have our antenna on, so we want we want to put our antenna on, and we can not have to worry about that anymore. I'm gonna pull this now. I'm gonna use a different type of tape here. It's still double sided, a little different form factor, and it's not supposed to be really great for you. I don't I don't think, but it's good tape. Okay. So let's see where can our speaker go? Me actually, grew for it right here on the edge, maybe. But is that going to? It doesn't give us enough play there. Okay, so that fits right there. And I'm gonna do our battery last. Let's see, make sure the antenna connector here. All right, let's see what we can do there. Okay, so it feels like the lower key is working. A nice little click there. A little trim on the keyboard, which we can restore. Okay, folks, I guess the moment of truth, huh? Okay, let's see what kind of a mess we made. That's not quite sitting flush, is it? We can deal with that later. There we go. All right, this is going to bug me. I'm going to do this right. Screw it, we're going to do it. Thanks. <laughs> 